Hi guys, welcome to the 19th day of the 20 days of Power BI challenge with Zakra Learning. I trust your learning has been fun and adventurous. Yesterday we learned how to create buttons and bookmarks in Power BI to make your report more interactive and allow users to have a bit more control over your report today we're going to start um, to build a power bi visuals okay power bi dashboard rather in power bi dashboards are single page visualizations designed to tell a story or present key insights from your data in a concise and impactful way they act as the first point of contact for users offering a high level contact a high level overview of your data and enabling further exploration all right through reports and deeper analysis there are several types of dashboards okay each of these are tailored to specific purposes and based on your audience. So you should consider your audience and the kind of story you would like to tell with your data. So we have strategic dashboards, um, operational dashboards, where you, the audience, maybe your team leads, um, operation manager and frontline employees. You also have analytical dashboards. So these dashboards provide they provide insights into specific data segments, enabling detailed analysis and exploration. Okay. So um, we also have the tactical um, dashboards. So these types of dashboards combine operational and strategic elements to track progress towards tactical goals for mid-level management so how do you choose the right dashboard how do you choose the right dashboard number one consider your target audience and their information needs define the key questions your dashboard aims to answer select the most relevant metrics and visualizations to convey your messages um, effectively and maintain a clear and concise layout with limited clutter okay so um, try as much as possible to use a uh, consistent design ensure that your visuals are accessible to users with disabilities okay so um, let's just get right to it today we are going to be transforming what we have here this is actually a dashboard if you look at it you know but we would like to make it you know more interactive and it's more formal all right so this is what we have now this is where you are going this is where we are going with our dashboard okay so this is what we have with two pages of um visuals that is the profit and sales page and then we'll also be able to toggle between different views, okay, in our visuals, all right? So we are going to, I'm going to show you different methods of creating your visual. The most important thing is to have a layout already. You know, have your have a layout, know what you want to feature in the, the key insight you want to feature in your dashboard. Okay. So remember, your dashboard is a summary, it's not the entire report. There's a difference between your dashboard and your report. Awesome. Now, so let's let's get to it. The first thing we're formatting here, all right, is the background of our dashboard, our dashboard background. Okay, now there are so many websites where you can get color payments, all right, color schemes for your visuals. 
okay but the color we use here will be posted along with in the description of this video you can find the colors we use here in the description of this video now when you click away from all the charts um to your right click on the format pane okay and then the panel shows your canvas information and canvas settings all right canvas information canvas settings okay so you can apply settings to this page so however what if you want to apply the settings to all the pages of your report okay so that way what you need to do is to go to your themes okay go to your themes and select customize current theme okay so under there you can apply changes to all the pages all the visuals all the chart elements in your reports okay in your power bi report now for the page right i'm going to change adjust the page color okay and the color code i used is e0 e1 d d okay so that's the color we would like to apply to our background okay so once i apply you can see that it has actually been applied to our background if you change to another report page you'll see that the background has actually been applied across board so that is one of the best ways to apply visuals across board in your dashboard okay so another thing we want to do is to set chart background okay we'd like to set our chart background okay so we'll go to visuals in our team option under the customized team option all right and then we'll set the background to this color code okay? so you can use any color code of your choice and use any color code of your choice this is um, ec f4 f4 okay so ec f4 f4 and then when you click apply all right that the color code will be applied across board to all the charts all the charts in your dashboard all the charts so that's that's a very easy and straightforward way to apply themes or color themes to all the charts in your dashboard now what else do we want to do okay what else we want to do okay another thing you can do is to apply um under the customized current theme another thing you can do is to adjust text as you can see so for the titles of all our charts okay we want to make all the charts 10 let's just leave it at 11 points all right 11 points then for the font color okay we'll make let's give it a very nice blue color all right so i'm just going to type 395 f 92 395 f 92 okay so when i click apply you see that the color scheme will be applied to all all my chart titles all the chart titles have been what affected now another thing you can also do here is to apply these changes to the card visual all right to format all the cards in your visual that is the text cards and kpis right so you can see this is currently dean 45 
so you can format the color we use the same color as before so this will be three nine five f nine two so i'll hit enter to select that and then for the font size i'm just going to drop the font size to 25 for now now mind you this is for the current thing you're using it affects every card visual you're going to be creating in this current session so be mindful of that that has not been applied to my card visual i can further customize it edit it and apply any other formatting i want awesome so next thing we're going to do i'm going to try and resize these charts okay i'll resize them to create space for other items in our charts all right so um and then we'll apply a little more formatting to these current so i'll just resize all these charts a little bit I'll resize these charts a little bit okay So just make this nice and awesome. Okay, that is a bit too narrow. Now, there are lots of different ways to go about this dashboard group. A lot of people prefer to create a template or a background in PowerPoint and then import the, it as image into Power BI. All right. But uh, even though that's not a is it's not really a bad bad idea all right i just want to show you how to do everything in power bi without leaving the app without you know having to um, go anywhere okay i'll show you how to do all of that in power bi okay so we have this right now i'm going to we format these button visuals okay which will format our button visuals okay i'm just going to reformat it uh i need to delete all right so here okay under my format option i'm going to the button style i'll turn on text and add sales sales reports okay to that awesome and then i'll do the same for the other visual i'll turn it on and then change this to become view so this is a better way of adding text to your button visual this is a better way of adding text to your button visual awesome so the um i'm just going to reposition that a bit i'm going to reposition it a bit we'll come back to that later we'll come back to it later okay now 
let's start from our card visual let's start from our card visual for the card visual i'm going to reduce the color values so i'll just bring that down to 22 okay i'll bring that down to 22 all right and then you can apply different settings okay to to your visuals you can apply different settings to your visuals so i'm going to reduce the font size of okay i'm just going to reduce that a little bit let me reduce that a little bit okay now next thing i'm going to do is um for the layout i want that to be okay and then um for the cards i'll change that to a narrow padding okay narrow padding okay i'll change the padding to narrow for the alignment okay so the that is fine the background okay so let's leave that background the way it is for now okay and the ascent bar is fine the way it is okay so i just make that two all right so under the layout option okay you can see we have space between cars to be um so i'll just change that to five space between cards five so i just want to resize that a little bit more a little bit a little bit more okay so that looks very okay this looks very very okay okay so uh just bring that up a little bit okay so we are lining our charts later for now let's just position it the way we want it to appear awesome this is what we have for now now for my donut chart i'd like the de detail labels to be outside this time okay i like it to be outside and then for the values i'm just going to drop the values a little bit okay we'll drop the value a little bit and okay before we get to text before we get to text let's just leave things as they are first okay so this is what we want this is what we are aiming for okay so the next thing we're going to do is um i'm going to add some more slicers but i want my year slicer to be on the left i want it to be on the left so i'm going to change the arrangement okay so to grid okay and make it a two by two grid okay so i'm making a two by two grid and then i'll adjust that okay i'll adjust that to i'll just resize it so i'm going to be formatting this we we'll format it okay we'll format it and uh just make it you know use some of the latest features of power bi to make it more aesthetically pleasing okay so i'm going to add another visual which is the the card visual okay so i'm going to create a card visual another card visual the new sorry um the new card slicer the new slicer visual and uh, we'll be adding location that is regions okay so we like to see regions okay we would like to see the breakdown of our um, data by region okay so 
I'll go back home and then you can use the format painter to copy and paste formatting in onto your visual. Okay, so awesome. So we have central, west, and south. Central, west, and south. All right, so uh, we'll be formatting these visuals to you know to eat the theme of our dashboard. We will we'll format it to fit the theme of our dashboard. All right. So, but for now, right now, I I would like us to apply a different color to the um, bars and lines, slices, slices of donuts in our chart. All right. So to do that, simply going to select my chart. Okay. And what am I going to do? I'll go to the format under the columns. I'll choose a color. Okay. So one of the colors we've used before. Okay. Which is the three nine three nine five F nine two. Okay. So this looks good. So I'm going to apply it to this chart also. Okay. Have it only to the technology category okay so to apply to the um, technology category i'm going to select it under apply settings to and select the color so you find it in my recent colors here you find it in my recent colors okay i'm also going to apply it to the cities that are sales by city okay sales by city I apply that to the sales by city okay um, the ship mode also under the ship mode we have colors okay and then I'll just apply that to my colors cool so how about our slices okay um, for the slices in our donut chart i just need to apply the color to the corporate the consumer category okay and for our line chart i'm going to apply the same thing i'm going to apply the same thing to my line okay to my line chart now, how about the card visual? How about the card visual? Okay, so for the card visual, I would let's apply let's apply the new color from so under the cards, the call out values. Yeah, so call out value, the color we, we've chosen is deep blue color. Awesome. So our dashboard is coming up coming up well okay so next thing we're going to do i'm going to show you how to use the new card visual the new slicer visual right to you know how to format the new slicer visual to add some more aesthetic and you know you uh, user experience to it so how do we do that so we just format one and apply those changes to the to the other one all right so first off we're going to turn off the background okay we're going to turn off the background of our slicer okay so we turn off the background then under the call out values right so we, we want the the default state okay to be white and then the values we like the values to be displayed as a blue color okay just the way our theme is and then i'll drop i'll reduce the size of that okay just make it um, uh, font size 10. 
Now, the next thing we'd like to do is when you hover over it, when you hover over it, how do you want the uh, how do you want the slicer to respond over over it? Okay. So for now, let's just leave it um, like this. Now, how about when it is selected? How do you want it to uh, uh, to appear when you select a button? All right, in your card visual. All right. So we want to give that a blue color. So you see what I'm you see what I'm talking about very soon. For the uh, for the hover states, we just don't want the um, values to be static. Okay. We don't want the values to be static, so uh, we'll come back to that in a minute. All right. So let's look at the buttons. For the buttons, all right. The settings being applied is currently at default. Okay. So when you hover over your, how do you want the pad to behave? All right. So right now it is current. It currently has this this color it currently has this color so we'll just leave it like that for now okay we also add a an accent bar to to the visual okay so i want to add it at the bottom okay i'll add that at the bottom and then um just leave the transparency i'll change the color to to this so when i hover over over it you can see how it appears all right so this is in the hover state so how about selected state okay so when we select it how should it appear how should it appear now the under the fill option would like it to appear as blue color so we do that blue color You've seen that before so right now when i click on it you see the color blue has been applied to it okay so let's quickly go back to uh and change that color to white okay so that in the selected state we want the values up here to be white in color oh sorry so that's in the selected state so we want that to be white the selected state we like that to be white awesome so that looks beautiful so when you hover over it the color changes when you click okay as soon as you click the color changes to this is very very good very okay awesome so let's let's um finish up with this and then apply those changes to uh, the other so we want this to be narrow so when i hover over it okay so when i hover all right so this looks this looks good this looks good so you can also do uh, change the shape of your cards. You can apply shadow and a whole lot of other uh, formatting to it. Okay. So I'm just going to drop this to three. I'm going to drop this to three quickly. The padding to three. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. So this is what we have now. Next thing I'm going to do is to use my format painter to copy this format and apply it to my to my year slicer. Okay, so this is region and year all set. Region and year all set. Now I'm going to insert a text. A um, I'm going to insert a shape okay so what the shape will do or what would use this shape for okay we'll just use that as a for as a panel 
on the left side of my okay so i'm just going to use it as a panel on the left hand side yeah so let me adjust that very quickly awesome okay so i'll change the oh let's just format it very quickly okay so um first off let's start from the shape fill okay for the shape fill i'll change the color to uh color theme i'll let's reduce the rounded corners to somewhere around five uh, five or seven let's just make that seven okay so i will reduce it and resize it all right now in the format option i'm just going to send that backward okay so just send it to the back all right and then click here for a moment awesome so you can now see um our selections our card visuals look so beautiful you can apply any kind of charts you desire okay any kind of format you desire to this particular page okay so um what i want to do now is to increase the roundedness of the side panel okay so this looks okay and then um for for the slicers in the selected mode okay in the selected mode that is the buttons in the selected mode we do not want the border okay rather we want the border to be white and in the default state we want the border to be blue awesome okay so you see okay so i'll just copy this and apply it to this chart you can see the selected the selected button all right once you select the button it what highlights it like that you could also apply or change the shape of the car okay so i'm just going to collapse everything and then for the buttons okay um shape so here shape you can change that to a rounded rectangle okay either you would reduce the roundness okay so that it looks I think it looks perfect this way. Okay. I'm just going to apply this here. Awesome. So now we'll leave it, we'll leave we'll leave that we'll leave it as it is for now. Okay. We'll leave this the way it is for now. Now the next thing we want to do is to add a the dashboard title okay so to do that i'm going to insert a text box i'm going to insert a text box just undo that so you have to be very careful with uh, your selection okay especially with the text box it's a little tricky so i'll change this to d i'll change this to in and then make it 24 so um this is our super super store sales sales dashboard okay so let's just leave it at 20 yeah 
Anyways, looks better. That way, and then uh, the font color. Uh, for the font color, okay. For the font color, let's use. I think we have. Let's use the white color. Okay, I'll just resize that like so. Okay, and then um, under the style and format, I'm going to turn off the background. Okay, so I'm going to turn off the background. Nice. So this is sales dashboard. So, so super store sales dash board. Okay, so I think that looks too bold and unnecessarily large. Okay, so let's see. Let's see. Nice. Okay. To demarcate, let's add a line. Let's let's add a line. Let's add a line. So there's no limit to the level of there's no limit basically to the level of uh, formatting you can apply to your dashboard. There's literally no limit. Okay, so and then so I'm just going to make that um, white shape, no fill for the border. I'm going to make let's make that white. Okay, so this is for our dashboard. Now it's getting interesting. Okay, it's getting interesting, nice and interesting. Okay, well, we are going to have, we'll be having two pages of our dashboard, the sales dashboard and the profit dashboard. Okay, so we need to be able to navigate between the two pages, okay, of our dashboards okay and other views that will be adding to the dashboard okay so uh under buttons in the insert tab you can find the navigator the page navigator option there the page navigator option all right so when i click on this you'll see that the pages have been what they've been captured and created for me, can you see that? Can you see that? So it has been captured, and so, however, not all these pages will be in our report. So I'll show you how to go about that. If you are using the page navigator uh, button, if you are if you are using the page navigation button, I'll show you how to use that. Okay how to make sure only the pages that should appear in your report are visible in the navigator button. How do you do that? So let's say, uh, okay, so from here, right now, this is our navigation button. So we go down to pages, okay? Under pages, you toggle off the what? Show hidden pages so we just turn that off okay we turn that off and then you, you can now begin to hide okay you can begin to hide pages that should not appear in your vision can you see that so when i hide this you can see it has what the pages are now hidden okay so as far as this is concerned only profit is only profit will be visible only the profit um tab will be visible so if i hit control and i click right it will take me to profit page okay so to use your button you need to hold control 
before and click. You need to hold control and click. Okay? You need to hold control and click to use your filter, um, your page navigator, navigation button. Okay? So, however, we are not just going to be, you know, toggling between um, profit and the profit and profit and sales pages. No, we are not just going to be um, navigating between profit and sales page. Okay, so I'm going to just remove this for now and show you another way of creating page navigation buttons. Another way of creating page navigation buttons. All right. So the next thing I'm going to do, I just want to du duplicate this line. Okay. So I'll copy and then I'll paste. All right. To just for demarcation. See you in the next tutorial. Until then, don't forget to like this video, hit the subscribe button, click the notification bell to get updates on new videos, and share this video with your friends. Bye for now.